Hi there, St. Lucians at home and abroad. I trust that we all are continuing to remain safe. Permit me this opportunity on behalf of the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labor to provide this important update post the issuance of the official project press release and on the heels of questions raised by some as it regards the Japanese-funded Kulisak Bridge Project. On August 9, 2017, the government of Japan through the Japan International Corporation Agency, JICA, signed a grant agreement with the government of St. Lucia right here in Cash Trees to provide grant aid up to 1.53 billion yen or approximately 37 million Eastern Caribbean dollars for a project for the reconstruction of bridges in the cul-de-sac basin. As part of the first phase, a new cul-de-sac bridge is being constructed. Now this transformative project will reduce bridge closures due to flooding and stabilize the volume of transportation by widening and lengthening the existing bridge, which is expected to strengthen socio-economic development and make the arterial roads more resilient against natural disasters. St. Lucia is susceptible to disasters such as large hurricanes and floods that cause immense devastation. And in recent years, the country has suffered large economic losses such as 145 million US dollars, 11.7% of the gross domestic product in damages caused by Hurricane Thomas in October 2010, and 70.6 million US dollars, or 5.3% of our GDP, in losses resulting from the torrential rains that Christmas Eve trough in December 2013. Our government of workers continue to express its desire to make the country's infrastructure more resilient. We started with the repair and improvement of damaged roads and bridges. But without adequate technology or funding, it is predicted that the next time a natural disaster occurs, traffic will be impeded and the country will suffer economic losses again. As many of you have noticed by now, significant transformation has begun at the cul-de-sac junction. Construction has commenced on the Nita Road and the St. Lucia Electricity Services Limited, Lucelec, has begun utility relocation. Again, I wish to reiterate that this project has been financed through a grant from Japan, which means that the project places no additional burden on the finances of St. Lucia. There is no loan, no hidden charges. In fact, the project can be touted as a gift from the Japanese government through its agency, JICA. It would be misleading and disingenuous for persons to suggest that St. Lucia could or should postpone the start of this important undertaking or use the Japanese grant for another purpose than it was specifically granted. This is just not how it works. Working closely with the Office of the Attorney General here in St. Lucia, we at the Ministry of Infrastructure have finalized the requisite procurement approvals to allow for this project to begin. I wish to assure all St. Lucians that the construction of the new bridge at Cul de Sac is being undertaken by international experts and in keeping with global standards. The Department of Infrastructure will provide supervision and oversight throughout the execution of the project. Let me also place on record that the cul sac Bridge Reconstruction Project is subject to international bidding laws and the financial regulations of both Japan and St. Lucia. In closing, the government and people of St. Lucia wishes to express our gratitude to the Japan government and the Japan International Corporation Agency, JICA, for supporting the further advancement of St. Lucia by providing grant funding for this vital infrastructure project. Soon, a project launch will be held to symbolize the official commencement and St. Lucia's recommitment to its long-standing diplomatic relationship with Japan.